Hello and welcome. If you've been following this channel, you'll discover that I'm sitting on a different chair today. That's because I've changed my level. Let's discuss about levels in Revit. Before getting into levels, if you were not with us in the previous class, you can watch the video on how to move between your true notes and your project notes. Now, let's get into creating levels. We'll follow the steps in creating anything in Revit. You come to the tool palette or ribbon and look for levels you find out that it is not active. And the reason is simple. You can only create levels in elevation. So under your project browser, you scroll down to an elevation and pick any one elevation. Depending on your template, you might already have some levels existing. So you just need to create it to um, align with the number of floors you are going to work with. And an elevation, you go back to architecture, and on that datum, you find the level. The shortcut is double L. You click on it and you place a level the same way you place a line. You start from the tail end of an existing level. You click, don't drag, just click, and then you click again at the end of the line to create a level. Once you create a level here, it appears on the floor plans, on the ceiling plans, and on any other plans, uh, duplicates uh, you create here. Next thing is on how to edit levels. As a rule of thumb, I always add numbers in front of my levels to keep them well arranged under the project browser. To edit a level, you double click on the test on the level and then edit. To edit the figures of the level, you also double click. This is the name of the level and this is the actual height of the level in the project. So you can see this as zero, this is 1.4. Or 350. You can edit all this by just double clicking. So I'm going to double click and edit this text. Now, after adjusting this text, I'll go ahead and then adjust the height. To adjust the height of a level, you can do that by double clicking here or by selecting the level and then looking at the dimension, temporary dimensions that appear and clicking on them to make a change. So I'm just going to click here on this 3.8. I'm adding the thickness of the floor slab so that my clay height will be around 3650. In case your levels get clogged up, you can select a level and there is a break point here where you click on it and then it splits. Uh, the level so that it avoids uh, those kind of clogging. One quick tip while working on levels. Some people prefer that their ground floor level is the level zero and not the natural ground floor level. Maybe you have uh, a lower ground floor plan or a basement and this cannot be your level zero. You can actually change that very quickly. Select your level under properties tab, click on edit type and make sure under constraints the elevation base is set to survey point, not project base point. So I'll change it to survey point, I'll click on OK. After that you go to the manage tab and from the manage tab you click on position, another position, select relocate project. With relocate project, I'll just select the ground floor and then I'll move it to the position of the zero. Ground floor is now zero, the natural ground floor is minus 750. Another tip to point out while working on levels is that every level has a default story above. For example, the natural ground floor, the default story might not be the ground floor, so that when you create wall on this level, you always go to this first floor. You can select this level and say, go under the properties tab, there is a tab called, uh, an option called story above. You can set it from default to first floor. And, um, any such things can be done for any level to change the relationship between that level and the next level above. So when compute, computing room height and the rest, it's going to use the next level above to do that. Final tip while working on levels for now is that you can change the look and appearance of the level line. So selecting it under properties and clicking on a D type, you can see under the graphics, you can change the weight, you can change the line pattern, maybe to solid. You can change the color of the line levels, maybe to gray. Click on OK, click on Apply, and you can see this. If this is the, the graphics your office use, you can actually set those level lines to match 
that graphics. So that's all on levels for now. I'll catch you in the next class. Thank you.